Oh, dang it, I forgot to, uh, record my, uh, actual voice instead of the uh, game audio that I've already recorded and don't even want it anyway, so now I have to record this all again. <laughs> well, anyway, hello and welcome to the, uh, Ice Dragon Challenge submissions, or rather, the final results video. Uh, basically, this was a challenge where you have to complete a certain objective as quickly as possible. If you want the full rules and you don't already know what it is, you can, I'll, I'll provide a link in the description to make things easy for you. Um, so there were four contestants. We have uh, Tanka Rider in the top left, we have Edrin in the bottom left, we have Cecil in the top right, and we have uh, Thunin in the bottom right. Oh, and if you're here from Insane Difficulty, it's not the Cecil you're used to. This Cecil's actually my brother, but I, I didn't tell him anything, so... Anyway, let's get started. So, as you can see, uh, it starts off rather suddenly because I wanted to get everyone's times started at exactly the same time, but uh, everyone just splits off and going into menus, running off in different directions, so uh, Thunin's going straight for the airship right now. Uh, Cecil did some menuing and is also going for the airship. The other two are in the Chocobo stable. Uh, if you notice, Thunin actually makes it to the airship the fastest. The I'm suspecting that uh, the Chocobo ride actually may be slower. <laughs> it wasn't really my intention, but uh, it definitely shows that it's good to experiment, I guess. But uh, every, I, I can't be entirely certain if it's slower, it's not by that much. So, Thunin walks through the cafe here. I'm not sure that's the fastest. I think he could have probably gotten to the relic shop faster by walking through town. But, just a hunch. And you can tell that Edrin and Tank Rider pretty much made like no preparations. They're just straight in Narsh, and they're pretty much neck and neck right at this point. And they're gonna continue to be neck and neck for a while here. Uh, Cecil went off to get Bum Rush, pretty much like the crux of his strategy in this case. It requires a minute long cutscene, but it, I mean, it is Bum Rush, it's pretty useful. Thunin's going off to make a bunch of smaller preparations. There's no long cutscenes here, but because he's just buying stuff from the shops real quick, but I. They, they will increase his damage. I mean, look at how close Edrin and Tank Rider are right now. They're pretty much gonna stay that way for a while. Meanwhile, uh, Duncan beating up Savin. <laughs> Thunin uh, grabbed the sprint shoes, which will help him out by uh, doing the rest of his preparations and running through Narsh as well. So they make up some of the back some of the time that he uh, lost actually making the preparations in the first place. And Cecil kind of doesn't have that luxury. So, uh, Edrin and Tenka have made it to the mines. Cecil's almost about to get into Narsh. He's pretty- I mean, you learn Bum Rush pretty much right next to Narsh. Pretty much everyone had more trouble flying the airship than I expected, kind of. But... I think Edrin's flying is really good though. I, I can't remember for sure. I may be mixing them up with other people. So, uh, Cecil's already entered Narsh, but uh, Thunin's uh, right on his tail here. However, Thunin does have the sprint shoes, which is gonna be the reason why he ends up passing Cecil, Cecil during this segment in Narsh. Because his battles are actually, if you look closely, I think they're a little bit slower. Neither of them figured out that you can use uh, Warp, which uh, both uh, Tenka and Edrin were using li quite liberally and it helped them out. I think if it's a preemptive strike or a side attack, it's faster to run, but I'm not sure, and uh, it's probably only like a second or two difference anyway, so it probably wouldn't make much of a difference in the long run. Not unless I made a challenge where uh, 
<laughs> you were just running from a thousand encounters or something, that would be boring. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, uh, Dune has already passed Cecil with his French shoes. He may also have gotten one less encounter or something. Whereas uh, Tenka and Edrin are making it up to the top now. As you can see, Tenka is a little bit ahead of Edrin, but the uh, the Ice Dragon pretty much walks straight down to Edrin, so he just goes right into the battle. No uh, shenanigans there. Ed Edrin uh, starts off by meeting the dragon. <laughs> uh, I probably should have banned that in hindsight. I was hoping for people to have to make a little bit more preparations, but whatever. He also realizes that you can throw the Thunder Shield, and I'm glad to see that no one figured that out on their first attempt, actually. <laughs> Everyone took a couple before they were like, Hey, wait a minute, I, I can chuck that thing, and it does a lot of damage instead of wearing it and having a defensive boost. That is admittedly not minor, but... Tank has already reached the battle as well, but I... Uh, he ends up spending a lot of time buffing, like, uh, he ends up wasting a lot of time with uh, Hedron just phantom done. <laughs> uh, but yeah, slow, golem, zone seek, all those things, just... But yeah, Hedron's just going to town. Though I still think the biggest difference between the two runs was that the uh, Ice Dragon ran straight down to Edrin, whereas Tenka ended up eating two battles in the Sofields before he reached it. I gotta sneeze. <coughs> so yeah, congratulations to Edrin, because he was first. Tenka is almost done the fight, but... The other two haven't quite made it through the mines, but I uh, I think the main reason why that happened was because I didn't realize that you could mute the dragon. That's another reason why I didn't. Uh, the muting the dragon probably should have been banned, is because it's one thing and it makes such a huge difference. It's probably better if a bunch of small optimizations end up making the difference instead. Thune has almost reached the dragon now. And I suspect, I'm not really sure, but I think Thunin's dragon fight was probably the fastest. Because uh, he, he's got the earrings to boost the damage, and jump is also making things fast. Yeah, Tenka just completed that. So, uh... <laughs> The thing about jump is that if there's one character, it's, it ends up being really, really slow because you have to jump up, wait for them to come down, then wait for the turn again. But uh, with four characters, there are people firing off fire two animations all in the meantime, and uh, the the wait time between when he goes up and when he comes down is essentially non-existent. So I'm not sure why he moves seven to the front row here. Instead of fire twoing again, doesn't I, I don't understand where he's going with that. <laughs> but I probably doesn't make that much of a difference anyway. The funny thing about uh, Thunin's submission is that uh, the first thing, the first time he ended up submitting a Brave New World version of this. And it ended up being really, really cool, but uh, at the same time, he uh, that's not what you're supposed to do. But it's not like he's the only one who misread it. Everyone except uh, Edrin misread one of the instructions at least, and I made sure to check uh, if they misread it and or I mean, if you guys misread it. But uh, I think my instructions were good enough. I'm just trying to gauge because I mean, if my instructions weren't clear, then I probably have to do a better job the next time. But anyway, uh, yeah, that turned out really cool, and I'll put a link to that in the description as well, the Brave New World version of this. Because the dragons in Brave New World, they're actually, uh, they're not like chumps who are weak to a bunch of status effects. They're boss fights with a lot of HP, and are meant to be almost sort of challenge fights, so... So yeah, Funin took out the dragon now. 
Alright, so now Cecil's the last one left. Last but not least, uh, one thing he told me was that he specifically wasn't optimizing it all that much because he was worried that he'd spend like a whole ton of time optimizing it and then uh, everyone else would just submit like 25 minute videos, so he was just uh, figuring that he, he'd at least get an idea of where people would be going with this before trying to do anything crazy, but... Unfortunately, Sabin gets frozen here, and considering Sabin's host was damaged, he pretty much has to spend the fire spell on freezing him. But yeah, Bum Rush is pretty powerful, and it'll take him just a couple of hits. He's only got like 24,000 HP, so four Bum Rushes. Fire, I think he threw off a Fire 2, and it didn't end up being useful. So yeah, anyway, uh, nice job to all the participants. I think it turned out really cool. Uh, I like how everything... Like, all, all four people had at least a slightly different take on what to do, and, uh, hopefully that'll continue. So, yeah, great job everyone, and see you next time.